Now from the 12 News Verify team, addiction to nasal spray, is that really a thing? While nasal spray can provide desperate relief for millions of Americans who get stuffed up, some are getting hooked on the seemingly harmless remedy. So Team 12's Rachel Cole set out to verify. Rachel? Guys, the warning labels on such meds are black and white, and doctors advise patients to follow suit to avoid nasal spray dependence. <laughs> <laughs> People sometimes think I'm a cocaine user because I sniff so much, you know. Brian Dahl depends on nasal spray and has for two decades. I've got one in my book bag that I carry around. I probably got one in my car. I probably got one upstairs in my bedroom. A necessity doctors say is unfortunately all too common. It is a psychological and a physical dependence on this, so it can be a real challenge to get off of these sprays once you've been on them for a prolonged period of time. Dr. Raj Sinwani says overusing the sprays can actually cause breathing problems or congestion to get worse, something Andreen Matias understands too. I had to have it in my drawer, at my house, in my car, anywhere I went, I had to have it. She started using it when she got a cold, but ignoring the instructions comes with consequences. Over time, they stop working and actually cause rebound swelling, putting you even further behind than when you were when you started taking them. A typical dose is twice a day for three to five days, but experts say those who abuse the directions can become dependent. If I stopped using it, then it would just inside just swell up and you know couldn't couldn't breathe. In a severe circumstance, doctors can switch patients to a steroid nasal spray that is non-addicting and can be used long term. So we can verify that if the nasal sprays aren't used appropriately, they can be addicting. If you're looking to stop the sniffling, try a hot shower or humidifier, drink plenty of liquids, or line your nose with a nasal strip to break up congestion. Guys, back over to you.